Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And in today's tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to replace or upgrade the RAM on a Dell Inspiron 1525 model. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do before working on any laptop is remove the battery. So the way we're going to do this here is move this to the release position and the battery should slide right out. There it is. We'll put that aside for now. We don't need it. We don't want it. Now to replace the hard drive, you I'm sorry, to replace the to replace or upgrade the RAM on this particular model, you want to remove this back plate. Now there's roughly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, but not too difficult, just time consuming. So I'm gonna start off just by any screw here. I'll unscrew that. That's one, two, let's see how long this takes us. Three and four screw number five right over here again this is no particular order I mean I'm not gonna get complicating with it just unscrew the screws to remove the plate once you have all screws off this should pop right out wait a minute it's not coming off what do we do what, what screw are we missing oh let's see I don't think I unscrewed this one at all so you wanna make sure you get all the screws plates should pop right off and there it is screws don't come off they're attached to the plate a lot like how Macs are which is pretty cool we'll put this plate aside for now and this will reveal the inner components of this computer you can see that our motherboard is underneath this all uh, underneath this mess of wires and components um, this, I'm sorry not mess of wires but mess of components um, it all looks confusing but this is th very basic it's not too difficult to understand if I point out a couple of the major components here we have the processor a graphics card uh, we have a heat sink which is this tube here and we have the exhaust which is uh, t uh, getting rid of that hot air from the that's produced by this processor or any other component that's inside this computer um, we have the Wi-Fi card which is right here the WLAN and we have our RAM which is right here so to remove the RAM or upgrade the RAM, what you want to do is pull these lat these notches that are I'm sorry these latches that are on the RAM outwards, and the RAM should pop up like so. There's the RAM. I'll put that aside for now. This bottom RAM should be the exact same way. You should pull these out, these little notches out. It should release the RAM and you should pull the RAM out just like that. Now let's pretend that I just bought new RAM, I got the upgrade kit or I got you know I wanted to upgrade to 6 gigabytes or 8 gigabytes and this was a 64-bit operating system and it completely supported it. Then we're ready to install the new RAM. So I get my RAM stick, which would be Dimby. I'm going to match up these notches, the notch here with the notch on the RAM. I should just be able to slide that in place push the RAM down you should hear that click same thing with dim A match it up with the notch there on, on the RAM and the actual um, computer itself push it down you should hear it snap now we've upgraded this RAM this computer is good to go so the next thing we want to do is put our plate back on and the way I'm gonna do that here is just snap it back in place with these I can actually feel it kind of fitting back in place here. I remember correctly, I've actually worked in this computer a few times and this plate can be a pain so you gotta be patient with it and fit it on just right but once you get it it's not too difficult. Once it's fit in place you want to start screwing the screws in. Here we go. We'll start hearing it snap in place if it fits right. If we don't, we hear it, see any bulkiness. In this case, we don't yet. So we'll see if this, if I got this right the first time. If not, we'll have to unscrew a couple screws and fit it back in place. Not a big deal. I like that Dell makes this easy. It makes it accessible to all the components, or at least the major components that you wanted to upgrade or fix on this computer, which. Um, in itself is pretty cool about them. A lot of other companies make it difficult, like for instance, I've worked on Toshiba's that sometimes are just a pain to take apart, especially for Sony. Uh, I mean, they make decent computers, but 
the fact that it's so difficult to get to components just kind of upsets is upsetting a little bit and makes you want to buy these lesser complicated computers or lesser complicated com complicated computers to work on like your Dell or your ThinkPad. Those are my two favorites to work on. They Dell might break more often, but they're easy to fix. Same thing for IBM. So we have the plate back on there. We have it screwed back in. It's snapped in place. There's no bulk to it. It is on securely. We're going to go ahead and put our battery back in the computer. And we're done. We were able to successfully upgrade or replace the RAM on a Dell Inspiron 1525 model laptop computer. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the, in the comments section of youtube.com forward slash IT conflict. Check us out on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. We're also on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. Check out our website, www.itconflict.com. This is Eric with IT Conflict, Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks again for watching, guys, and please subscribe.